falling on my knees. You, know, uh, you might be a little curious to find out why I'm saying crawling on my knees. What's this got to do with, uh, <laughs> whatever, what's this got to do with crawling on my knees? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> just think about how serious this is. I don't know about you, but maybe I'm strange. Well, yeah, I am strange. <laughs> I sometimes, I don't, I didn't really come from Earth. I came from Klingle. 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 <laughs> I don't know much. But, you know, the biggest concern I have is my salvation. The biggest concern I believe is where am I going when I leave this crazy earth? Where am I going when I leave this mortal soil? Where am I going? And the thing is, Jesus tells me where I'm going. There's two directions, there's up and down. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's not too difficult. I can remember that. Up, down, 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 up, but this is the most serious issue in a person's existence, isn't it? Where am I going when I leave this, this planet? And Jesus tells me where I'm going. Jesus tells me what must I do to be saved. In, in the, where was it? Uh, I think it might have been Luke, where the, yeah, the jailer, uh, Paul and Silas, the, the, the bearers opened to the jail. They're singing at midnight, praise, being praising God in jail. I tell you, I wouldn't be singing, get me out of here, get me out of this dump. I'd be, I'd be ranting and raving, I don't want to be in here. Get me the heck out of here. But they're singing, praising God. And you know, I'd be still in there ranting and raving, I wouldn't get out. But they're praising God. See the magic of praising Jesus? The magic of praising God, he can do anything. And that's who I have to depend upon. I can't depend upon myself. And so serious, believe me. If Jesus said to me, Jack, I'll make a deal with you, Jack. If, if you crawl on your hands and knees all across Nova Scotia and all across Cape Breton and all the Cape Bretoners could see you down there crawling on your hands and knees, you're going to get saved. You think I wouldn't do it? I'd be on my hands and knees right now. I'd be crawling along Cape Breton. I'd be crawling around Nova Scotia. He said, you have to go to Brunswick. You have to go all across Canada. Well, I'm doing it, Lord Jesus. He said, you got to go all across the world, your hands and knees, hands and knees. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can bet your, your the, the, the Cape Bridge. I'm going to crawl. I'm going to crawl on my hands and knees. Martin Luther crawled up the steps, or he used to crawl up for penance, whatever it was. This is part of his salvation. Well, that don't save you. If you're doing that for be saved, you're lost. Even, I didn't realize this. Even if you give up your life for Jesus, if it's for salvation, you're going to hell. That might, see, that's so counterintuitive. Then. Here's the holy, holy guy. You mean to tell me Jack he's going to hell? Yes, I do mean to tell you he's going to hell. Because you know where he's going, he's going to hell. You can be a, a martyr for Jesus. You, what, what, you, what you're doing is destroying the salvation. It's a free gift. We don't give Jesus anything. But I'm telling you, if it wasn't a free gift, I'd be crawling my hands and knees right now. And if Jesus said, Jack, you go swim the Atlantic Ocean 50 laps around the ocean, I'd be doing it. I might, uh, I might only do it about 25 times. <laughs> but you bet, you bet McDonald Bridge, I'm, I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to tempt it. I'm going to go across there. I, I want that. I want that price, highest price, and I've called God Jesus Christ. I think it's Philippians, Philippians four twelve or four thirteen. I want that highest price, the highest call of God in Christ Jesus. That's what I want. That, that, that's that, that's where it's at. This this, this uh, world is. It's so. How can people lose their souls over this world? It says, "What will a man in Matthew? What will a man exchange for a soul?" While well, the prophet and begin, the whole world loses soul. And people are losing their soul over this foolish world. They're wanting to grab in every earthly thing and ignore in the heavenly. It says here in Corinthians, it says, I think it's 1, uh, 15, 40 something. I'll be around there. He was off the earth as earthly. He was off the heavens as heavenly. And it tells us in, in is it Philippians 3, 23, uh, our conversation is heaven. We really eagerly wait our Lord and Savior. Yeah. So, are you after the earthly or after the heavenly? And Paul says, if Jesus died for this world only, we're the most miserable of creatures. 
I, 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 now it occurs to me that you can be, you can be in all these things in Jesus' name, all the your ten houses and in your your bookstore and you're signing your autographs and you can have your measly eighty million dollars a year. And that's measly if that's all you got. If that's all you have. If that's if that's all, all that goes into your bank accounts. Those eighty million dollars, earthly dollars. It's nothing. It's peanuts. Uh, and I don't. In this world, money is, 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 is the one that, it's the greatest thing there is. I'm not going to be as well that it's the greatest thing there is. But it don't last. This world don't last. James tells this world's a mist and a vapor. What does it say in James 5? Uh, woe to the rich. He doesn't say woe to the poor. He says your gold and silver is a testimony against you. Around here in this world, somebody has a big bank account. That's for them. People look up to them. They treat them with their deference, with reverence. Uh, it, it's the, the cow tow to them. And they're, they're admired and respected because they got a, they have a big bank account. And yeah, the irony of it is that God looks at the the opposite way. He looks at Joe Blow that's got fifty thousand dollars after he died and thinks, "What are you doing with all this money stacked up? It's a testimony against you. It'll consume your flesh like fire." The, the salvation. I, I I do anything if God told me. I might not be able to swim the Atlantic Ocean fifty times. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'd be out there trying to swim today, I would. I'm telling you, it's, it's, what can be more serious? It's, 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 but you have to be born again. I'm going to keep on talking about this the cows come home, or the cows don't come home. I'm going to keep on talking about this until I can swim the, low, the, 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 the Atlantic Ocean 50 times. Because the born again is, is, uh, um, is the simplest thing in the world. And there's people that call themselves Christians and they're going to hell because they're not born again. There's, there's a majority of Christians, as far as I know, I, I honestly believe they're not born again. They got the wrong gospel. They claim to be born again. They, 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 they believe in the gospel. They, got, they, they add so much stuff to it. It's, they destroy the gospel. It's no longer a free gift. It says in Romans 3.23, the wages of sin is death, but free gift of God, the free gift. Get it? The free gift. Get the picture? Amigo, free gift, free gift, free gift. Through Jesus Christ our Lord eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I have nothing to do with my salvation. Jesus does it all. It's just like the, the guy when the, the four guys are cutting up the roof and they go, want to get down to Jesus. They could take, take the cripple down to Jesus. There's such a big crowd around. They're up the roof and they're sawing and sawing and sawing and sawing and sawing. But they didn't heal that guy. Jesus did. They couldn't save that guy, but Jesus could. If I was up there on the roof, 20 years sawing and sawing and sawing and sawing. Uh, I get. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't save this guy. I couldn't heal this guy. We're totally helpless for salvation. The Master Jesus has to do the touching. The Master Jesus has to do the fixing. The Master Jesus has to do the cleansing. Jesus is the one that does it. Jesus does it. Not just does it. Oh, it's 100% Jesus. It's not 50% Jesus and 50% someone else. It's all about Jesus. 100% Jesus. And the Latin test to the. the, 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 the the criteria, here's what the criteria is. The gospel, Paul enunciates this gospel in 115 Corinthians 1 4, when he says, What I received, what I heard, what I present to you, the gospel sent to you, what you received, what you heard, whereby, whereby you stand, whereby you're saved, unless the gospel I preached to you, you didn't first believe in vain. And here's the clincher here it is, folks. The abracadabra, this is the magic that Jesus died for our sins, was buried and rose the third day according to the scriptures. And that's it, you're saved. It's that simple. And and you can call yourself, there's so many people that are calling themselves Christians, but they don't have this. And they're not born again. They, they, they might they might not, uh, I don't know, they believe the gospel, but they, they have the wrong gospel. They add to the gospel. You don't add to the gospel. You don't mess around with the gospel. You don't play with fire, you're going to get burnt. You don't touch that gospel. That gospel is just left alone. And you can't get away from it. It just says, it doesn't say we, uh, we believe, you see, we, we believe and, and it just says we believe. Nothing's added to it, nothing. But like I say, it's, it's, it's in Corinthians 1, 15, 1, 4, that's the whole thing, stock, barrel, whatever you want to call it. You know, but I'm going to keep on ranting about this because I really believe the gospel has to be preached. That, that's what God is calling. My, my colleagues always taught me we'll be born again, born again, born again, born again. I've heard it about a thousand times from them. <laughs> I guess a thousand one won't hurt. 
But I, I realized how significant it is. It, 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 it's everything. Our, our whole future is with the gospel. Your money can't buy your way into heaven. Jesus don't take MasterCard, credit card, or whatever you take. He don't take bribes. He, I wouldn't have much money to give him anyway, so, but I, I'd steal it and, 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 and try to con him or do something stupid. But you're not getting into heaven except by the blood of the Lamb Jesus. And Jesus went to the cross for you. And, and you, when you believe that you're a sinner, you, well, you, then you need a Savior. When you're broken, you need a Savior. But I, I can... I want to keep coming back with this, like I say, till, till I don't know, till, till, till hell freezes over. I'm going to keep on back, happening and happening with the gospel. The gospel is the gospel. Because that's where the power is. That's where the, the, that's where the, the holy fire is. That, that's, that's what, fire up, fire down. Elijah said to fire up to God, what happened? Fire come down. The gospel, when we preach the gospel, preach the gospel, he says it's coming besides miracles, wonders. There's a fire going up to God, and God's going to send out a bigger and bigger fire. And I believe that's the whole key to revival, is preach the gospel in season, no season, and rebuke and extort, and train in righteousness. And anyway, that's enough for me. Uh, bye for now, and all.